there are many wonderful teachers in the world, but there are very, very few like Irena who know how to create an environment that brings out the very, very best in all of their students. A few years ago, I asked Irena if I could watch her teach for a few hours. I had been so impressed by all of the students that I'd heard of her. Now, that is the beauty. You have three against four. What does it mean? Now you are playing left. One with, with the same, with the same timing on one. When you are practicing, right? So you practice separate hands, mm -hmm. right? With the same mm -hmm. counting. And then you just play it by ear, and that will be perfect. Yep. Uh, I'm all. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I have to give something to do with. I think I know what it is. The standard. It's not it's forte, for, it's, it's for forzando. Forzando. So, it's what the composer doesn't want you to do is what you would do if Sforzando wouldn't be there. You would do... And drown out this note? Yeah, this is second voice, you understand. Right? So, if not Sforzando, you would do... Right. Oh, and bang the first note. Not bang, but... But do it a little lap, like... Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. More mm, flowing. Mm, yeah, nodding, right? right? Now we have to decide, you and me, because I don't know why he wanted Sforzando on the third beat. I have no idea. Do you have any guess? To surprise people? <laughs> it's very Haydn-like. He liked to surprise. surprise. Yeah, He's you know. So, try to play this role. Relax. It's not you. It's not 12 years old, David. It's, let's say, not 82. It's too scary. Let's say 42. I'm trying to remember something. And so I watched and I was amazed at how she used humor and stories to cajole and to coax the very best out of her students. Yeah, that's the problem because you concentrate on, on uh, melody in the right yeah. hand and Beethoven says, listen, listen guys. That what is important for me, and I build this. Only when you're ready. Now, this break could be a little bit small. I learned a great deal that day, and I think I and my students have been very grateful to her ever since. I heard her that day ask one student to sight read through the entire Bach well tempered clavier. I had never heard a request like that made of a student. To dare the student, really, to achieve far more than that student thought he was capable of. Another student she asked to learn the entire school of velocity of Czerny. So what I saw was that I had been very cautious and sort of micromanaging in my teaching. 
and she was not that at all. She's really created an extraordinary environment, like a rainforest, in which all of her students, like the species in a rainforest, thrive and learn to be all that they can be. She, I believe, is one of the very finest teachers in the world, and it's my privilege and pleasure to know her. Just imagine, a car coach made of paper. It's the middle of the night, and everyone is asleep. The cockroach suddenly opens his eyes like this and becomes alive. And he is very surprised. How come? I was made of paper and now I can move. You see? This is like, what is happening with me? She breaks every rule in the book, you know. She may uh, teach to play a scale one way to one student and teach it a different way to another student, but it works. So how are you going to argue with success? Irena does not have any rules. I think she teaches and she studies herself at the same time. To be constantly learning for your entire life is a big gift. Very few people are capable of this. In music, to know something and to be sure that it's the only this way and not that, this is a very narrow approach. But if you are open, if you are ready to learn something new, then you understand that you have been studying music yourself, so you cannot say that this should be done only this way. Because if you think you know everything in music, how everything should be done, then I think it's time to retire.